I actually don't have any idea how this got into Ninja Review because Well, howdy! Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review! The series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. Well, this week I still got a sore back. I am still injured, but hopefully you guys had a great week of skating and today we're going to review two videos. Both of them are uh, park videos, I believe. The first one's called Instagram Booms by Jordan Rose. Rewind and play. Jordan Rosey. Starting off with the nose manual. Kickflip fakey. We got a line starting off with a bang. Fakey flip 180. Not bad. Weirdly framed uh, melon right there. We got some transition skills. So already we've got some manual, some transition, some grabs. We're getting a lot of uh, what I would say similar transition tricks. I probably would have preferred only using the really good ones. Uh, a lot of a lot of fakey tricks on a quarter pipe. Kick flip landing on the other skateboard. That was fucking pretty crazy. Kick flip uh, board stall fakey disaster. What do, you, what do you guys want to call it, man? I always say fucking board stall. Hold on, let's rewind this. I always say board stall, but a lot of people say rock fakie, and I haven't been corrected on it, so I doubt anyone really cares, but it really it still is a board stall. <laughs> I just I just made it as if you guys were gonna correct me, but no one corrected me. Well, let's get back to the video now, you hear? Landed on the other skateboard, that was crazy. Kickflip rock fakie, I almost said disaster too. Uh, grind 270, we already saw the, the backsmith version of that, so I'm kind of confused as to why I would show that really terrible heel drag. Hold on, I like how fast these clips are. The perfect half cap heel right there. Fakie trade, a heel drag. We got front 180 across, back 180 across. Fakie 180 manual, 180 out. I like it, quality, this quality seemed to just immediately get better. I think we switched to 60 frames right there. We get the fake 180 rock, fake 180 fucking rock, and whatever, man. We get the same fucking tranny tricks. I appreciate that he's uh, doing a lot of fakey stuff, but um, just like right there, not a huge amount of control. The tail side, he cased it. The tray flip barely hanging on. Backside flip, heel hanging off. Uh, fakey backside flip, pretty nice. Kickflip nose mail. That was good. I think he didn't scrape, did he? Another fakie 180. Not a lot of nollie. Definitely a heel drag there. Not a lot of switch. So we're kind of uh okay. Let me okay. I'm gonna wait till the end to discuss why that's a bad hard flip. But I feel like we're not getting as much variety as we could get here. Final trick is the fakie big heel. No, final trick is fucking rodeo flip. Okay, the tricks came so fast that I was a little bit scatterbrained on that episode. Right here, we have a super, super blatant heel drag, but I want to discuss why some people's hard flips look absolutely terrible. And the hard flip's coming up right here. Look at the path of his foot. And I'm not saying this to talk shit. I'm explaining to you guys that some tricks have a certain aesthetic. Skateboarding tricks are more than just the board spinning and rotating a certain way. There's more to it here. Let me explain. For this hard flip to look aesthetic, right? For it to have a good style, this front foot would be way out here. But instead, his foot just kind of kicks behind him, which always results in like a heel clicking motion, which as you guys know, I've always kind of compared scooter riding to like a little girl doing a curtsy because their feet are so close together. That's why when you watch even the most hardcore scooter trick, it just genuinely looks feminine. And when you do a hard flip like this, even though on paper, it was an okay hard flip, you landed bolts, the board did what it was supposed to do, but it doesn't look good. Maybe somebody in the comments can, can explain in better dialogue like what exactly I'm trying to say, but this is not how you want this trick to look. Typically, if you see a hard flip in a magazine, you're not going to see the pro skater or top level am. Their feet are not going to look like this, not only because it looks dumb, but also when you start skating bigger things, I kind of think this is a very like less efficient way to do the trick because your foot's all the way behind you. 
You can't put it out and catch it. Maybe you want a late flip. You're going to late flip like this. You're just kind of like, just make, I don't, you know what, dude? I don't think I'm putting it into words correctly. And my goal here is to help you guys understand the mistakes maybe you don't realize you're making. So I'm trying to simplify my thought process here, but I guess you're just gonna have to take my word for it. You don't want your hard flip to ever look like this. The tricks on transition were all sort of similar, right? That was a backsmith to a back tail 180. Then we get another backsmith to back feeble, which is basically just backsmithing, moving your truck a little bit. You're not really achieving anything that you didn't just already do. The next trick, yet another backsmith, where you do the 270, and then later in this video, we get a back grind 270 on the exact same style setup. And to me, it's just wasted, wasted footage. You know, you can go out there, you can skate, but you don't have to put every single trick filmed into the video. If maybe your goal is, I just realized I still got this fucking hat on. If your goal is to show the viewer how good you are at skating, I don't have to see the same basic shit over and over again. What you did here essentially is you showed me your warm up, then you showed me your good trick. Well, they're all kind of a related trick, right? I don't need to see a back grind, then your backsmith stall, then your feeble stall, then your feeble to back tail stall, then your feeble to backsmith stall, then your back tail 180 stall, then your feeble to back tail 180, then your backsmith to back tail 180, and just so on and so on and so on. I don't have to see all that, which is what I feel like you kind of did with the editing of this video. Uh, aside from that, several heel drags and a lot of close calls with the heel. I wasn't able to call it out for one thing that you did right. The tricks were just rapid fire back to back to back. Not a lot of roll up, not too much roll away, which made it hard for me to commentate, but it also genuinely made the video a bit more watchable. Can you imagine how annoyed I would be if this video was guilty of too much roll up and too much roll away, oh, I would absolutely hate my life. But then again, here we get the same sort of bunch of fakey setups. We didn't get any nolly. We didn't get any switch, did we? Not that I can remember right here. And uh, just, so right here, the grind 270, which is really not that much different. That was the cleanest trick of the whole video. And then right here, we have something that, in my opinion, during the editing process, it's kind of hard to pretend you didn't see this, right? Especially considering this is episode 280 whatever of Ninja Review and 99% of the episodes I've called out the heel drag. People submitting videos to me should already know what they're in for. I don't know, pretty good video, but certainly a lot of room to improve. Next video is called Instagram Clips by The Blow Up. Play The Blow Up. Starting off kickflip, fakey. You guys can't see it. Oh, you can, there's like, wait a minute. There's like these little symbols every, okay. There's up here on the top right. These are, these are screen recorded Instagram clips, which means you lost a lot of quality, which is why all these clips are so blurry. This reminds me of people that get like power director and in the corner of the screen, it just says free trial. Uh, if you want to remove this watermark, get the real version. I actually don't have any idea how this got into Ninja Review because this entire time I haven't seen, I haven't watched a single trick and you guys can't see it. If I move out of the way on the bottom, right? See right there, there's one of these little, little people, little tag symbols everywhere. And whatever you were trying to do, you just ruined it, right? I'm... I can't even watch the video. It just seems like pure laziness or just a really inefficient way to, to gather your clips. And I don't care how good you are at skating because I haven't been able to see right now because I'm just kind of like mesmerized. Cause you can also, you guys can't tell, I sort of zoom in when I capture from the YouTube screen, but every single one of these has a black bar at the top or on the sides, which is really distracting. And you gotta, you gotta understand that when you upload to Instagram, they compress the footage. And then when they re-show you the footage and you screen cap it, you're again like compressing your footage to where it, it doesn't look great at all, man. Your phone is capable of some pretty high quality videos these days. And when you do something like this, you really, really ruin it. Now, if this is something that doesn't bother the viewers, you guys can speak up in the comments, but I, I haven't seen a single trick. It's uh, 
I don't want to say laziness because I'm sure it took a long time. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it took a long time to do all this, and you know, at, at this point, it is laziness. You're just putting flat ground tricks in your video, and you're just screen capping your Instagram stuff. Listen to me, people. If you film a good trick for Instagram, film it with your regular cell phone, then put it on Instagram. If you're, if this is how you create a library of footage, like if this is your storage for your best tricks, then you are severely, severely damaging your skateboarding and again I know not everyone is is such a stickler for quality as me and I'm not even I'm not even that much super super you know anal about the quality but when it's when it's this blatantly bad it really does just remind me of of the old days when you get some free software and they just put like a watermark over it this okay I I don't maybe the word unprofessional is not the right word because, you know, this is just some guy sharing his Instagram clips. He doesn't have to be professional. But this is whatever the opposite of professional. It's like, if I say unprofessional, it, it doesn't really, th that's not the word I'm looking for. This is just really, really low quality, low effort in terms of trying to put together a good video. And I don't just review the skateboarder during this series. I try to review the video as a whole and as a whole i was distracted for that entire video people in the comments am i overreacting or what let me explain it like this if i organically came across this video on this guy's channel let's say i saw it in related videos and i just clicked this to see what it was i would immediately immediately turn it off and that's not me like trying to sound cocky for ninja review i would actually turn it off because on YouTube, there's a billion other videos of skating I can watch without uh, a little timer going off on the top right and a little circle on the bottom and a little symbol over here. There's just there's just more shit to watch. And on top of that, I'm just getting flat ground tricks with bad quality. It's like I, I what what are you doing to keep me to keep me here? In my opinion, not enough. We're not even gonna finish that video. It uh, <laughs> as soon as I saw those black bars, and then we turn back to this the heel drag. Thinking back to the second video, I have no comment. I don't even really consider it a video. It, it it's my mistake. It should have never even made it into the submission process. Maybe I maybe I skimmed over it too quickly, or maybe I didn't skim over it at all. Maybe I'm just uh, an idiot in my own show, or maybe it was a troll. Maybe it was a troll either way. Uh, this video, the first video was certainly better, but stopping on this frame, we can obviously see what this guy can improve on. And you may say, you may say, well, his heel didn't touch the ground and there was still one millimeter left. Well, even if there was one millimeter left, can we agree on this? I can see all eight bolts. Not even one of them got covered. So as far as landing with control, landing with conviction, there was none of that. There was none of that here. I think this video could have chosen the clips better. I think this video just all around was just absolutely, it was just not up to the standard of Ninja Review. And I feel like I just wasted your guys' time and mine trying to review it. So here we are, I guess. Uh, I did not get very many submissions this week for Ninja Review. Usually I'd sit here and complain about it, but you know what? When submissions run out, I typically just go back into my vault and find some old videos from early 2000s and we'll just go back to doing old school review because at least when we do old school review, there's uh, there's not going to be like some little timer up there. There's not going to be so many heel drags and if there is, we're going to be able to say that this old footage doesn't hold up anymore. But for the most part, people from my generation of skating, they put a higher bar, I guess, a higher standard for landing clean. Uh, I'm just rambling at this point. I would love for you guys to submit videos. The process is very easy to do. Find me on Instagram or find me on Facebook. Type in Ninja Lifestyle, send me a DM and link an HD YouTube video. Make sure you're not screen capping terrible compressed like blurry footage make sure there's no black bars on each side make sure listen i think it's so simple and i've explained it so many times just grab the camera turn it sideways hit record on your regular ass like video recording thing you don't have to use the instagram app you don't have to use any of that afterwards delete all the times you fell you can even like shorten the clip i don't understand why 
this is like two weeks in a row. I don't understand what, like literally back in the day, you used to have to put a tape into like a burner camera and then use like a connection to put it into the software and then go through it and cut it down and clip it into a certain way. Nowadays, literally dragging your finger across a screen that takes one second is too hard for you fucking guys. And I don't understand it, but you know what? You guys can do whatever you wanna do. I'm just some guy with a YouTube channel. Please submit videos to me. Send me the HD YouTube link. Make sure there's not the black bars on top of the side, whatever, I already explained all that. I check those DMs about once a week and I'm looking forward to, uh, looking forward to seeing more skating from you guys since currently I cannot skateboard. This back injury is uh, really debilitating, but good news is, I might be going to the doctor next week. Maybe I can get an MRI, share the results with you guys so that uh, so that you guys can quit saying, oh, he's just faking, he's just too fat and lazy and drunk, you know what? Or maybe you'll be right. Maybe the doctor will say there's nothing wrong with this fat, lazy, drunken idiot, and they'll just, uh, they'll just send me on my way to where I'll just go eat a cheeseburger and drink a beer, goddammit. Here we are again, Ninja Review. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, you know what? This was not really a very productive episode, so I apologize for that, but at least I wore the cowboy hat, right? I hope you guys have a great weekend. Go out there, land some tricks, film the tricks correctly, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another pointless ass video. You guys have a great night. Kuna Matata. In the arms.